Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you some major updates coming from Germany. As the event is now done, more and more informations are coming out and we will discuss them today because there will be new colors for the cars because we have the newest paint shop in Germany. And then furthermore, we have an outlook that we will look into what Grünheide can achieve in the near future and a new FSD chip that will be installed into the Cybertruck and what this means for FSD. So if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing and we will start first of all in Germany as we are also gonna discuss in a moment the numbers in Germany and they are pretty good for the Model 3, especially as you have to consider, and I can just repeat that one more time, that Tesla is exporting cars to Germany and still Tesla is really high up there. In the number, numbers I'm gonna show you in a second, um, of course this is from January till August, which means that the Model Y numbers are not even included in here, but we can start speculation where the Model Y will be by the end of next year, and I believe it could be in the top two or not, maybe even number one. So we see the Tesla Model 3 here on third spot, which looks pretty well if you um, consider um, how long Tesla is actually exporting from um, China. So these are really good news. There is a market, there is a market uh, definitely for the Model 3 and of course for the Model Y. So looking into the colors that you will see um, very soon in Germany, we do have rumors that the white color, which is the free option, will be left behind and they will cancel that and there will be a new color that could come. But not only that, because this information was already a week old, but now rumors are coming out that we will see a metallic green and a metallic blue, and then a crimson um, red, deep red, dark red, um, something in that way. So that is really interesting because we do know that Tesla is not gonna add new numbers of a new number of uh, colors um, without taking colors away. So if the if the uh, color white is gonna be gone, the question is what other um, of the last four colors that are currently um, available would then be um, canceled. So we have to wait for that. But as it is the newest paint shop, Elon has promised that the quality will um, be much better as in Fremont or in um, any other car produced before. Then looking into the next one in next week, so in this case this week, um, the last uh, public hearing will be done. And furthermore, um, in December, Elon is um, hoping to deliver the first cars. The batteries will come from CATL and LG Energy Solution from China. And by end of 2022, he expects 5,000 cars per week, but he hopes it is rather towards 10K. And of course, the battery cell production will be ramped up accordingly um, or simultaneously um, to the production of the cars. Of course, the building will still take time and until then, CATL and LG Energy Solution will provide Tesla with uh, more uh, batteries in Germany. And not only is that an interesting news, we are also gonna cover the United States in a moment because in the United States, um, we have more updates regarding a partnership with Samsung for the FSD chip. Um, what we also have to, um, for all of those people watching here, not coming from Germany, there was pretty good publicity here in Germany. Um, there was a lot of newspapers talking about this event. Um, there was um, a good, it was a good brand awareness event here. You still have to consider that in Germany, a lot of people have never sit in a Tesla um, compared to maybe the States where the brand is much more um, yeah, in their minds of the people and that people have much better brand awareness when it comes in regards to Tesla. Looking into the battery cell production here in Austin, um, for Austin, we do know that the last area here that we're looking at 
um, that is still open is ready to be closed. So um, we can see how long this will take. I think it might take another two to three weeks till they have finished that. Talking about the FSD chip, currently um, till 2019 backwards, um, we have an all production cars, the hardware three um, chip inside. And this chip based on Elon's uh, statements um, should be able to reach um, around 200% to 300% better FSD um, as a human driver could do. What we have to take in mind when we look at these 200 to 300%, that is if the autonomous driving, so the AI is at the max where Tesla wants it to have, not right now, but in the future. And the question is always, can the hardware actually manage that? Is it capable of doing that, what Elon wants it to do? And the hardware three could achieve 200 to 300 better um, driving than, a, um, or could deal with all the data better than a human. Furthermore, the new chip coming into the Cybertruck which will be next year is the hardware four. And that one would be a thousand times better than a human being um, once the autonomous driving is happening. Not only that, we also have some great updates actually coming for Europe. Elon just said yesterday um, that the FSD could come to Europe by next year if all the small hiccups are actually solved. Um, and we do know that the newest updates are pretty good, but of course there are always some issues, some flaws, some mistakes that the computer still does. And he wants to um, solve them and then further spread the FSD out in the United States. And once that is possible, he wants to deal with the regulators and take care of adapting everything that is possible um, for full autonomous driving in the next few years. And with that, if they are achieving, um, if they are achieving successfully really good results with the FSD chip and with the um, beta tester, then it could come to Europe. And this is what a lot of people are waiting for here in Germany, but as well in other European countries. There are a lot of skeptics out here, I must honestly say. I think there are more skeptics than in the United States, for example. Um, but let's see if Tesla can convince the regulators that the technology is good and that they can achieve more safety by using autonomous driving. So thank you very much for listening to today's video. I'm really appreciating you being here and have a nice day. Thank you very much.